Hello, my beautiful souls, my Aquarians. Welcome to Mary's Mystic Whispers of Wisdom Tarot. And uh, thank you for joining me. And if you're new, I uh, really would love to invite you to see what the energies will be for you, my Aquarians, for December 1st through the 15th. We have the Keepers of the Light. We have the Mermaid Oracle. We have Past Life and the Romance Angel cards. And if you've been with me, you know how I normally shuffle. Takes a while for the cards to fly out. So I did the pre-shuffle to get these cards for us so that we can dive deep right into this magical time, this new moon in Sagittarius. And it's very interesting. I just did Sagittarius and um, the energies are flowing right over into you, my Aquarians, into January. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to clear the air a little bit with uh, some Palo Santo. Bring in our spirit guides for the collective Aquarians, please. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Keepers of the Light, right off the bat, we got Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance, okay? Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing so i didn't put my glasses on but there's lord ganesh removing those obstacles i feel with this new moon in sagittarius today november 26th even though this reading is for the first of december time is an illusion obstacles are being removed karma is being cleared yay and we have melchizedek higher learning you have learned from experience more inner study is now required to further progress. Never ends. There's the flower of life. Okay, so our wisdom and knowledge is increasing and we are also gaining more wisdom. And Archangel Michael is coming out to trust heaven. You are safe. Angel, stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Call on Archangel Michael. He's real. These energies, these angels have presence. And when you do ask for their help and their support, they are there for you. I always call on him when I travel to surround my plane with white light and protection. Never had a problem. Knock on wood. <laughs> but Archangel Michael's there for you. Right now it's raining in California. We've all been praying for the rain. And here it is. So I thank them for bringing those gifts to us now the mermaid oracle beautiful what we receive today from the mermaid oracles visions psychic Im imagery okay clairvoyance seeing out of the body travel okay out of body travel then we have water flight which is so perfect with this heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness and look at those beautiful whales there I feel that that is a symbol of love, how they're uplifting her, okay? And you're having visions. There is the moon. This is a beautiful time to set your intentions for this new moon, okay? And we've got the backing of Scorpio and Mars moving us forward in Sagittarius. Lovely. Let's set these over here. Now, past life you guys it's a little intense but we've had many past lives if you believe that if this resonates great if not just take it as a metaphor or seeing things in a new perspective but i believe that you lived in a past life and you were celtic in ireland or scotland that may resonate with you so that's when they blended the paganism and the christianity See how they have the sun in the middle of the cross there. I was there in Ireland. It's absolutely gorgeous. I resonated that I, I knew that I had been a Celtic in the past life. My grandparents are from Ireland. Vows. You may have taken vows in a past life. That is something that is being released now. Karma is releasing. I feel like when people go, oh, karma, karma, karma. It is finally done. I feel we're moving into 2020 with new vision and releasing the old ties and vows. Okay. Now vows can be important and they were important to us in a past life. Now we vow to ourselves. 
okay, that we're going to follow our own path. Knighthood, of course, there you are, Aquarians, always with your valor, protecting humanity, going forward with truth and clarity, okay? Knighthood is very important to you. Honesty, integrity is important to you. So those are some of the qualities that are coming forward for you now in this past, from this past life. Remember valor. Remember integrity, authenticity, okay? But for the right cause. Transportation, I feel that you probably traveled uh, many different lands in a past life and you are ready for a new adventure, okay? So I feel like you will be taking some travel. Now we're going to get into the love and romance angels to see what's coming in for you for love. And then, of course, we're going to get right into the tarot. So we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Beautiful. It is a time of passion with this beautiful holiday season coming up. You're going to probably be meeting people that are very passionate about you. Then we have very soon. It's interesting. This is exactly what and I shuffled. Um, uh, Sagittarius got very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay worth waiting for divine timing is work is working um, in your love life right now so it's definitely worth waiting for and you've been waiting a long time and it's coming very soon and it's going to be passionate exactly what you want my divine Aquarians. Now let's jump into the energies for you in love, life, purpose. Any messages for the Divine Collective Aquarians for December 1st through the 15th? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And I want to bring him out again. Where'd he go? Bring some of this energy in over here for our reading. Okay. Worth waiting for. Mm-hmm. If you want to see more about me um, or just visit my website all that information is in the link below I'm doing special readings for December $17 for two questions 24 for four and seven question private video for 44 mystic wisdom tarot at gmail.com gotta throw that in there okay guys here we go my Aquarians what is coming forward for love and life for my Aquarians for December? December 1st through the 15th, Holy Spirit. We call them the Spirit Guides of the Collective Aquarians. What is coming forward for them? What can they look forward to after releasing this karma and moving into this new life? Yay, success! And walking away into a new path. So here we have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So my Aquarians, it looks like you are being recognized for something or you're being cheered on this journey that you're moving forward on with the Eight of Cups right there. Okay, you're looking forward to something new, something that you're following your passion, Queen of Wands, work, dedication. You know, you're leaving the people behind that have been cramping your style. You're ready for this new experience. And I feel like you also want to move forward and fix relationships from the past um, that don't look as difficult to deal with at this time right now. Let's see. I think you're going to be able to handle it especially with a lot of you are going home for Thanksgiving. If you're watching this video now or the Christmas holidays, I think that you're going to have success with the family when you take that journey home. They're going to see you for what you stand for, that Queen of Wands. Okay, Aquarius. That's some good fire energy and water energy. Two of Cups. What did we say? worth waiting for and very soon were your romance angel cards with passion if that doesn't look like passion 
and something that's worth waiting for. A soul union is coming in for you. So it's time. You're done with the karma. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. With the Hierophant. This is a spiritual union. Also with the Four of Swords. It's that knight. Remember? You were a knight in a past life. You, you, you're exhausted. You're taking that rest. But your sword is right there. Ready to pick up. Ready to go back out there. Ready to jump back in because you know you're worth it. And this love is worth it. You are moving forward into success, knowing your abil you know, talents and abilities, standing in your beauty and your power. Okay, this is also the Hierophant, the marriage card, but to me it's more of a spiritual card, a spiritual union, something that you have been waiting for for a long time. But there was a karmic in the way. There was some, some sort of karma that you had to deal with from your past that you're letting go of now so that you can shine your light so that it will be calm and peaceful union. Beautiful, guys. My knights in shining armor. Also, I'm feeling Joan of Arc. Where has been Joan of Arc been? I haven't seen her in a little while. You know, no fear, no more persecution. Mm-hmm. You paid your dues. You're moving forward. You're manifesting more money, more love. You're healing, healing, healing. With that Four of Swords there, I feel like there's some old karma that's just being cut away and you don't even have to do a thing about it. Your higher self, that knight, is doing it for you. Your spirit guides, Archangel Michael, put your trust in them to, to handle that for you. Wow. Oh, my God. Whew. You guys, if you, okay, Aquarius, you got to look at my twin flame reading. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, another sword of knighthood, strength. What does a knight have? Strength, self-discipline. What does a knight want to aspire to be? An emperor, an empress, Joan of Arc, and the king who becomes the emperor of all the kingdoms, the divine couple, the one that you've been waiting for. She whiz. You guys, things are changing so fast right now. Hold on to your hats. I'm sure you've watched other readers. Check out your astrology. Find out more about this new moon and Sagittarius. Whew. This is something you've been building for your whole life. This is the new journey that you have envisioned. All of the roadblocks are being, you know, removed for you. Lord Ganesh came in for us. Infinite abundance, higher learning, trusting heaven, trusting yourself, knowing who you truly are, having the truth and clarity and strength because you've gone within four of swords. Mm -hmm. Beautiful guys. Victory, success, you're being recognized. You're moving on from what no longer serves you, what's been cramping your style. Okay? You're, you have a sense of embarking on something, <sighs> this journey that you've been waiting for for a long time, a new chapter, something more solid, no more doubt. It's like all those cups are karma, good, bad, ugly, all we have is right now. The Queen of Wands is within you. Have the strength and the clarity to burn away. Remember, fire. It can be of a, a purifying nature and it can also destroy. Thank God the rains are here in California. But you guys are knights. That's why I felt the Joan of Arc in you. I felt this this knighthood, this valor. You know, chivalry is not dead for my Aquarians. Look at that. 
That is power. That is knowing who you truly are and stepping into it finally. Now, yes, you may not jump completely in. You're receiving downloads and understanding as you go along. So don't have fear. You're ready for this. You've been ready for this. You've had to put up with a lot of karma in the last 30 years, 20 years, 10 years, three years, however old you are. And now's the time. It's a very exciting time. Mm. I can't wait to do Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, but I have a lot of friends that are Aquarians. You guys are knights in shining armor who want to help the world and build a new world, a new path. You're going to be putting it into action. You're so creative. You're so generous. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael. Thank you. Ganesh, Melchizedek. Thank you for these beautiful messages. What do spirit guides of all the collective Aquarians need to know right now to implement this beautiful reunion that they've been waiting so long for that's coming soon? Ooh, death and transformation. That's all it is. We're done. We're resurrecting from the old karma. There's the rose. This is the Scorpio card. We're moving in Scorpio and Mars. We're moving forward in this healing so fast. Whew. We're taking form and shape and things are being manifested. Make a wish. I mean, having Lord Ganesh there, I love that because he is amazing at removing obstacles. And it's also part of the mystery and miss uh, of our lives. How does this all work? We don't know how to explain it with words. We just know. We feel our crown chakra opening. We feel our third eye being able to see the truth and clarity in the other. We feel their thoughts are on the same wavelength as our own. I'm looking at my beautiful dolphin there. Okay. We all come from the sea. You are being blessed, my Aquarians, with that, you know, sword of truth and light. That's you, thoughts, the mind moving you've created the vision you're waiting for your ship to come in it's coming in just a couple of months that new love that page of cups that tender-hearted love but yet so mature so humble thank god because that emperor can sometimes not be so humble but you're on the safe way wavelength and you know you've got that fire behind you that you're equal partners. Okay. So my divine souls on the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles, the father, son, the Holy ghost, the master builder, the architect, the patron. It's like coming together in this union. You will be able to build this new future together. It's very exciting times. I'm so happy for you. Please like and subscribe. And let me know if you like this way I did the reading. I've changed things up a little bit. Um, so I look forward to seeing you soon. Happy Thanksgiving to you here in America. And I'll see you just before Christmas so we can do the rest of the month video for you. Love and light. And remember, it's worth waiting for. It's coming soon. And trust, okay? Trust. And put your intentions out there for this beautiful new moon in Sagittarius, okay? You're getting the downloads. You're, you're building that solid foundation that is happening. Love and light. Namaste.